Hey, y'all. So, I want to talk about how to get this passport. So, you go on the uh, USPS, the United States Postal Service website. And you make you an appointment at one of the post offices, whichever one is convenient for you. You go to Walgreens and you take you a couple of passport pictures. Once you take your pictures, you wait for your appointment. You really don't have to fill the paperwork out before you get there, but if you want to go by the post office and get the paperwork before you go, it's okay. Uh, it will make your, your uh, passport process very quickly if you go ahead and just drop by any post office and get the package. It's not a lot to fill out. It's a one whole sheet, and then the back side. It's not like you're applying. You will get the passport because you are an African living in America. So all you have to do is go there, you fill out the paperwork, and you get your passport. You send out for it, it will be like a hundred, hundred and US dollars plus, maybe like a hundred and thirty US dollars. And then it will come in the mail four to eight weeks. That's the first step. That is the first step of liberation, of escaping from America to the land of your ancestors. That's the first step. Now, after that, by this time, I know that you have been saying, I'm going to Africa, I'm going to Africa, I'm going to Africa. Because when you start thinking about Africa, you start saying you're going to Africa, things open up for you and it manifests. So now, I hope that you have been saying, I'm going to the land of my ancestors, I'm going back to Africa, I'm going to Africa, I'm going there, I'm going to where they say that we will never return. I'm going back through the door of no return, and that door is open, and I am coming. So, you say that. You say it over and over again. Once you have said it, things will start to happen for you. Make sure you stay tuned, because I'm going to be showing you how normal it is for you to be in Africa. This is normal, just like relocating from Memphis, Tennessee to Atlanta, Georgia, or from Atlanta to Dallas, Texas, or from Dallas to Nashville, Tennessee. It's just normal like that. But the thing about it is, you have more power because you are African. You are here. So being African is normal. There's no racism every day. You don't experience racism every day of your life. Everything is normal here. So, once you are here, you realize that you are already supposed to be been here a long time ago. So just make sure you understand the power of coming to the land of our ancestors, the power you have as an African, you release that power and manifest it into the universe so that you, your destiny is Africa. It will bring you here, you will do big things, and you will live a very happy life. Happy, happy life. So, that's what we are concentrating on. Getting our passports, getting our children's passports, being more African, implementing African words into our vocabulary by going online, watching how to speak Twi, T-W-I. Learn to speak Twi. That's the native language of this land in Ghana. Also, learn how to speak Swahili. There's over 75% of Ghanaian, I mean of Africans that speak Swahili and it's growing. So watch learning Swahili. Greetings.
online. Watch it. Then there's also Wolof. That's another West African language of Senegal that you can learn. Learn to speak Amharic, which is a language from Ethiopia. Learn to speak Hausa, Yoruba. Learn to speak Fulani. Learn to speak all languages and stop speaking so many English words. Learn to be in harmony with your body and your DNA by speaking your African language. As much as God loved Gandhi. I love you and we will be back soon. Peace.